Welcome back, everybody. Doc Voodoo here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Voodoo Boys Gaming has plenty more awesome content coming your way. Shabby and I are having a blast. We hope you are too. Enjoy watching. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Doc Voodoo here. Got another fun game for you guys. I think it's going to be fun anyway. It's called Iron Lung. I got it off of Steam. It says it's a short horror game, and we're in a submarine in a ocean of blood. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Decades ago, every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling, survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons lit by the ghost light of vanished stars. One such moon holds a strange anom anomaly. I can talk. An ocean of blood. You are a convict tasked with exploring this anomaly in a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you will be welded inside. Oh, good. And the Ford window will be closed. Oh, even better. There was no time for training. If you're successful, you earn your freedom. Great. Okay, here we go. Wonderful. Oh no. Here we go. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Oh, standing by, sir, who I don't know who you are. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. Great. Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. Can I... Is that dripping? Is it dripping? <laughs> it's dripping blood into the submarine, guys. We're starting to lose radio signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so risk thing and be careful. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, I can't hear you anymore. W-A-D-S to move, mouse to interact, tab, map. Oh, good. Uh, B for briefing. Uh, two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration of moon, trench beneath the oceans. Your task is to photograph these points of interest with the forward camera. Photos must be taken within two units of the... All right. I think we can figure this out. Uh, <gasps> I don't know what I did. Uh, how good? X, Y, and A. Okay, okay. Uh, 322 and 186. Twenty six what? I don't remember which one I clicked on. Crap. Oh no. I don't remember which one. All right, screw it. Three twenty two and one eighty six. Huh. All right. It just says one eighty six. So how do we do the X? Is there a different way? Oh, okay, that's what that does. This is not an expedition, it is an execution. When they put you in here, they don't want you to return. And even if you do, and even if they keep their promises, what freedom waits for you? A few dying ships in a sea of dead stars. 
If there is still hope, it lies beyond the veil. Hope in this void is an illusion, illusionary as the starlight. I will choose to breathe my last breath, I assume. I can't really see what that says. At the bottom of the ocean, unseen, unheard, and uncontrolled, they will get their execution. I will get my freedom. Oh. Oh, that's how we take pictures. O okay. Hmm. 033. The real question here, guys, is how do we... Try one more thing, maybe. Nope. There must be. So that's changing that. So if we change. That first one's got to be 322. Just curious. I want to see something here, guys. Make sure I'm not being stupid. X should be 322, and Y should be 186. Oh. Oh, nothing's nothing's there. Oh, oh. Did we lose? I'm not sure what happened, guys. I think I was being stupid. Or as I like to say, a dum dum. So let's jump back into that. I might have misread what we were supposed to do here. So clearly... Hover mouse over nodes for more information. Okay. What's that say? Okay, that's that. And I've read that. cool mechanic for a game. I'm like, this is the first time I think I've seen this. I'll be honest, guys. I'm just kind of winging it right now. Until the numbers kind of line up. I know this has to be 322 and 186. So as far as horror goes, I don't think this is like your typical horror game. It was six dollars on Steam. It caught my attention because it's it uh oh no 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 don't hit that because uh iron lung to me sounded almost like you know what you would hear back in the day where they put people in the iron lung right that's kind of what my head went to so I clicked on it. And obviously, it's not that. Which is cool, because this is kind of in a, its own right, like the same concept, right? You're stuck in this thing, we're welded in. It's almost like a puzzle at the same time, which is interesting. Oh, don't hit that! Oh god!
just out of curiosity. I want to keep an eye out. Nothing. Okay. 241 and 212. We must be like right next to a wall. So what I was trying to say before, I, I'm getting distracted because I'm trying to do this puzzle too. Uh, I wonder if we can go between them. Let's try to go between them. Nope, nope. Ah, damn. We can't. Okay. Uh, it's not horror the way I'd expect it to be. It is more of a... It's the... Oh, I accidentally clicked new game, didn't I? Crap. It's more of the... The atmospheric horror games that I, I tend to enjoy more because jump scares can get old. It's damn near impossible, in my opinion, to keep jump scares going and going and going and being scared the whole time from them. Not just that initial jump, but atmospheric games like this with this horror, I feel like they do a lot better, in my opinion, because you know you're you're so freaked out by what's happening around you that. When that jump scare finally comes through, you're not ready for it because you're focused on the environment, you're focused on your task at hand, you're focused on hiding or whatever it may be, depending on the game. So, very cool game. Unfortunately, we gotta go through this part again. We'll skip ahead, no big deal. Um, but it's a little confusing. I'm not good at puzzles, so for me, puzzles kind of. I, it makes me sound lazy, I get it, but puzzles to me in a horror game, depending on how tough the puzzles are, it's like, ah, uh, you know, I want to be scared, I don't want to have to sit there and try to figure this stuff out, but I also probably should have read this before, so I can't really complain too much, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration, a quiet rapture, leading to the discovery of the fourth blood ocean. Photograph, photos must be taken. Alright, so we kind of understood without reading that. We were pretty close to being on top of what we needed. I wish it showed our position of where we're at. That'd be kind of cool. So 613 and 197, that's the thing that we need to figure out here. So what happens if we go down? Uh -huh. Oh, oh. I think I figured something out here, guy. Oh. Oh, that's what changes. Okay. Interesting. So depending on the way we're... Sh 322 and 186. Oh, no. Very interesting. So it seems to be more, the puzzle itself is really just kind of winging it. It just kind of, depending on the position of the submarine is how you get it to go. I could see, it was, it said it was a short horror game. I could see how it would be dragged on by the mechanics of the game. And if you're not the most patient person in the world, this probably is not the game for you. Because you kind of have to pay attention to what you're doing. Am I mad about that, me personally? No. I, I like games like this to a point. Uh, the mechanic I can see getting, it could get a little old, maybe a little quicker for me personally. Because like I said, I'm not the best with puzzles. Uh, I do want to at least get to the maybe like, well, the concept of the game is cool. And I think, again, this comes down to... If you're a true video game fan, or when I say video game in this particular instance, I mean, you know, these types of horror games, then you're going to really enjoy a game like this, especially for $6, right? And there's always... Ah, there's always the chance that there's more to this game that I'm just not picking up on. All right. I'm not going any further with this. It's It was 
it was just a fun little buy just to kind of see how it does. The link for the game from Steam will be in the description for you guys. Uh, before I go, though, I would like to say that me and Shabby, as of this video, are up to 70 subscribers for Voodoo Boys Gaming on YouTube. We have made progress on our Facebook page, and we each have a Twitch now. Uh, all of these things have been added to our channel for YouTube, so you can click on the links to go to either anything. Um, we're still learning how to stream. We're not the best at it yet. We have a couple things that we have tried streaming. And we're going to learn how to advertise our streams better for people who want to come and talk to us while we do it, because that's like really the goal of what we're trying to do here, right? Uh, other than that, we'll probably have some more horror games. You know, it's early for me yet tonight, so before I have to go to bed for work in the morning, I may do another one, so you might see me do one more and post them around the same time. But until that happens, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us and our channel, and we hope to see you in the next video. Doc Voodoo, signing out. <laughs>